So I had to run an errand on my lunch today, and it turned out to be a much quicker errand than even I figured. And that errand left me so much time before I'm due back at the office, I figure I should get out and stretch my legs. So today we're going to check out the Mount Hope Cemetery just outside of downtown Rochester, New York. This is the oldest cemetery in the area. This place is absolutely massive. It's got some of the most interesting mausoleums, I think, anywhere. What really makes the entire cemetery unique for me is the fact that the entire place is built on all of these hills that just go up and down all throughout the park. So I'm gonna take you around and show you some of the cooler structures, uh, some of the very interesting grave markers and monuments that are out here. It's one of the things that's just so interesting to me is how so many of the graves in this cemetery are literally built into the sides of hills. This is so old, I can't even really read a lot of the inscriptions are so worn down, can't make out dates, but you've got this central pillar that is just surrounded by 13 family plots. Not a one of these stones in the plot here has a date. Judging by the size, some of these are clearly children. A little goal for myself to see what the oldest monument I can find in here. This one's 1861. Assuming this is a prominent doctor in the area, got a date of 1891, and his wife Jane passed 1893. I brought some uh, bug spray with me. I'm getting mauled by mosquitoes here. Top of a hill right now and there's just stretches of plots. These markers are just toppled. I think by weather and time, they're just naturally falling over. I got a date of 1900 on that one. These over here, unfortunately, don't appear to have been put back together at all. Can't quite make the date 1876, 1842. It's another set of tombs and markers and Amazing, all in the hillside. This one definitely caught my eye. That's a really cool angel statue. These folks obviously had the right idea. If you're gonna build into the side of a hill for your burials, you should probably put up a wall. I'll tell you what, give your gym membership. Just come walk around this cemetery for a day. Just up and down the hills. Another family plot where I'm seeing these really old graves that have like borders around them made of concrete. I mean, there's no dates anymore on any of those blocks. No clue how old they are. No clue who even the families are at this point. I'm making my way back up the hill to the top and find that there's like hidden away sections. The tiny little road that I found leads to a staircase down and into a whole nother section of mausoleums and burials that I wouldn't have even noticed if I hadn't been paying attention. This place is huge. Last thing I want to show you, uh, kind of about the middle of the park here. Uh, this place stretches like a mile in either direction. There's no way I could show you everything that's in here uh, in a short video like this, but right across the way from me here, it's kind of a cool pond that's surrounded by more markers. We're gonna take a look at that real quick. That's all the time I got for today, but uh, thanks for coming along as I stretch my legs. 
Uh, check out uh, more information online about the Mount Hope Cemetery in Rochester, New York. If you like what you saw, please give the video a like. Uh, consider subscribing. Help us build the channel. i got to get my ass back to work. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the road.